hello soulmates welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll be teaching you how to cut and also how to sew a bodysuit this can either be worn under an ashrebi like a corset kind of ashrebi or it can be worn as a top on its own just like i did so if this is something you're interested in please like comment share subscribe and let's get started welcome back guys so we start by drafting a very basic bodice pattern without a dart as you can see this has my shoulder my arm or my bust and the waist for the crotch line to get the crotch line you have to measure it just like you are seeing in the picture right now you have to sit down on a flat surface then from your waist you measure down to the top of the flat surface you are sitting on so that is what you will now transfer from your waist down to your crotch so for me i have nine inches so that is what i have from my waist down there then i added just extra one inch below so from my shoulder to my arm also 7.5 my bust length is 9.5 my waist is 15 from the waist to the crotch is extra nine inches so what i'm doing now is to measure five inches downward from the waist line this is to get the hip area this is to get the hip line for this so i'll label this part a line so the line below is the crotch line where while the one inch below is the extension so now the next thing to do is to draw our arm o so this part will be fast just the regular way of drawing your arm o nothing serious just the arm o So after drawing the arm hole, the next thing I'll be doing now is to measure my bust measurement divided by 4. I'm not adding any sewing allowance yet on this pattern and I'm not adding any darts. Please note that. So that's my bust measurement divided by 4 and my waist area too. So my waist is 24 inches. So 24 divided by 4. That's what I measured there. And for my hip, my hip is 34. So 34 divided by 4. So whatsoever I have... That is what i marked there so i'll just be connecting this point together just like this in case you have a small waist you'll be getting something that is so curvy like this you'll be getting something that is so curvy like this but we'll be blending this part in because it is too sharp it is too sharp so i'll be blending this part in a bit just to fill that part up So the next thing now is to go over to the crotch area as you can see i told you i extended the crotch area downwards by one so you measure 1.5 at that point just rule that 1.5 that you measure just rule it up to the crotch line just straight yeah just like that just straight like that to the crotch line then you use this curvy part of your french curve to connect this point or you can just use your free hand if you don't have the french curve then I'll be connecting this part. I'll be blending it in just like that. I hope you understand. So the next thing I want to do is to use my marker to roll all this line. I'll be using my marker to draw everything. So in case you don't know, we are still drafting the front pattern. And the front pattern is different from the back pattern. So you have to watch this video to the end to understand every part. So now for the neckline, because I'm using a total neckline, and we'll be measuring about two and quarter inch two and three quarter inch rather for the wideness because this is on fold and for the depth i'm using three inches i will still remeasure this for you to see so i'm just putting like just the neckline there first but i'll still measure it again for you to understand After you are done the next thing to do now is to just cut out what you have so i won't be cutting out the neckline right now i'll be cutting it out later so let me cut out my bodies like i said there is no sewing allowance yet on this pattern and i'm not adding that on the pattern 
so now for the back i'm trying to transfer what i have on the front to the back but the only difference between the back and the front is the extension at this crotch area so which you'll be seeing very soon but let me rule out what i transferred right here so let me just rule it out for it to be visible before we make the extension so what i will do now is to is to extend the crotch area so i'm just placing this on it to be sure of what i transferred so since what i transferred is correct the next thing i'll be doing is to measure about five inches below i actually use four inches but i would advise to use five inches so just use five inches below this crotch line the one we transferred from the front so just read it like that also so you'll be measuring one and a half two at this part you measure one and a half right here then you just connect this from the hip area down to this crotch part so in case you want to add a zipper to the back of your bodysuit maybe you are using a fabric that is not stretchy enough you can just add your sewing your zipper allowance you know where to add the zipper allowance you add it to this side here so the next thing to do now is to just cut what we have so i'll be cutting what i have here So this is what i have and i'll just label it so that i know which one is which one so before i label the next thing i want to do is to cut my neckline like i said i'm going for a total neckline so what i'll be using the measurement i'll be using will be three quarter two and three quarter inches by three inches for the front i'll be using two and three quarter inches that is it's on fold so when i open it off i have about 5.5 I have about 5.5 inches so i'll be using two and three quarter inches on fold then for the depth i'll be using three inches so that is what i'll be measuring right here like i said in case the fabric you're using is not stretching please add a zipper allowance to the back so like i said the neckline is two and three quarter inches that is it's almost three inches for the wideness it's almost three inches for the wideness and for the depth it is three inches so for the back i'll be using two and three quarter inches also two and three quarter inches by one and half so that is what i'll be using for the back then i will just connect it also just like this So I'll cut that out so my patterns are ready the next thing i'll be doing is to transfer this pattern to the fabric so for me i'm using a stretching net fabric so i've transferred it to the fabric and i added my sewing allowance one inch then half inch for other side that i'll be just be turning so i did not add any allowance to the edge of the crotch down there as you can see so this is the front and for the side i just added one inch and for the neckline and the shoulder i added half inch and for the crotch area down here i added half inch so this is my sleeve so i transferred the sleeve i placed my pattern on this and the line you are seeing right there is my actual length my actual sleeve length so i'm just making an extension because i want the sleeve to cover my hand a little you know that kind of sleeve so i want it to cover my hand a little so the extension right here right there is four inches but depending on how long you want it to be you can determine that for your hand but i just use four inches down there then i slant it as you can see it is a bit slanted at that area so that was just what i did like i said this is four inches extension so my sleeve is ready so now i'm trying to measure my pattern to know what my neckline will what the total neckline will look like so i measured what i have there so whatever i have at the front and at the back i'll just multiply it by two because this pattern is on fold so whatever you measured multiply it by two for for the back and for the front so that will be your neckline width so whatever you have if you notice it's too small for your neckline after measuring your neck you can increase your neckline so that it won't be too tight but for me it was enough 
because my neck after measuring my neck it was around 16 inches so it was enough so now then let's sew so for the sewing i will go ahead and join the shoulder and the side so that was what i joined first so the shoulder and the side so i went ahead to join it and if your fabric is very stretching you can you can decrease your measurements like you know i cut my actual measurement here but i later sew with one and a half inches but you know my sewing allowance was one inch but i sew with one and a half because this fabric was stretching so when i put this on i noticed it was not firm so i just sew again with half inch so for this side i'm trimming it a little bit because the bias i'll be using is quarter inch wideness so and i added half inch at this point so i want to reduce it a bit so that when i'm sewing i just sew it quarter inch i hope you understand So this is the bias tape i'll be using to turn this part so it's quarter inch i'll just be sewing this with because i've reduced the half inch so i will sew and i will see where i'll be sewing very soon so this is the part i use my bias to sew as you can see the front and the back extension is to go over to the front and this is looking like a pant so that is what it should look like so i went ahead to turn that other part so the only thing remaining for this top is the total neck and the sleeve so this is the sleeve so for the opening where our thumb will be entering so before you get to the edge of the sleeve you leave about one and a half inch opening then you sew you close the lower part with just half inch so you leave one and a half opening like you measure one inch from the tip of the sleeve then you leave one and a half inch opening so for this edge i won't be sewing it because it's in it and it will not it will not frill so i won't be aiming the edge of my sleeve so this is what the sleeve should look like when you put when you insert your thumb like i said you leave one and a half opening for your thumb then you close the edge a bit yes so this is what it should look like this is if you are going for this kind of sleeve actually so this is what the sleeve should look like so now i'll go ahead and just fix the sleeve to my blouse that is pretty that's pretty easy just fix your sleeve to your blouse so after fixing it this is what it looks like and the next thing to do now is to fix the neck the neck so this is what my materials look like so my material is the same wideness as as my neck because there won't be a button there so i measured my neck which is 16 inches so the height of this is about four inches so after sewing it to reduce and i'm folding into two just like this also so this is what it looks like after sewing the neckline is wide because this material is not that stretched and for it to enter my head you must consider that too it must not be too small except except the material is super stretchy so now you go ahead and notch the midpoint for the back and you notch the midpoint for the front then the joining should be at the back yeah the joining make sure it is matching with the notching at the back So you go ahead and you pin that and the front notching so it should be matching with the notching on the blouse so when you notice that your neckline is quite small compared to the main bodies you can just stretch the neckline a bit just stretch it a bit so that it can be equal So after fixing my neckline this is what it looks like and i'll just go ahead and top stitch i'll top stitch this down then after top stitching this is what it looks like this is what the neckline look like so if you want to do any neckline maybe just the regular round neckline you can just do that but if you want a total neckline you can just go ahead and do that also so for this part here we'll be adding a press button 
just to cover this part up so whenever we bear it so that it can be clipped down so i'm using two press button for this so i've went ahead to fix this press button as you can see so the front should be lapping over the back just like this so make sure you note how it should look like so it must be lapping just like this then after you are done this is what you should have as you can see it is very easy to make this is very simple very easy if you notice the corset nowadays that are that doesn't have sleeve like all these conical corsets some people wear match material or a net material inside and this is usually a bodysuit just to make it firm and look nice so this is what the outcome look like and it looks really really nice really really beautiful and the sleeve i love the sleeve it's covering my hand just the way i want it so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye